Hello everyone, my name is Alejandro, this is another ISDC video. Today we're going to dive the Lotus. This is a hardly ever dived uh, technical dive and uh, we're going to be presenting you guys with the uh, three regular parts. We're going to do the dive briefing, the dive itself and the history of the wreck. So let's get to it. Welcome back. Today we're going to dive the Lotus. This US Coast Guard vessel used to be 172 by 30 feet, which is in uh, the metric system 52 by 10, give or take. Nowadays it rests at a depth of 235 feet, which is 72 meters. This depth makes it exclusive for technical divers. So, as it is at the 2.30 mark, it's right on the limit of the normoxic trimix to hypoxic trimix uh, certifications. So, I, I would say, I would suggest that uh, in order to do this one, the diver needs to have a hypoxic trimix certification. That said, it can be dived with a 17% oxygen mix, which will get the diver right on the 1.4 uh, oxygen partial pressure and a 45% helium in the mix, which will give an um, equivalent narcotic depth of 30 meters or 100 feet. All that said, the wreck sits uh, upright and intact. Um, the, the cargo holds are fully uh, penetrable. Uh, it has a lot of life on it, as you will see during the dive. Um, this one, of course, requires a hot drop from the boat, which uh, makes it a little bit challenging when there is current on the surface. So without further ado, let's go to the dive.
Welcome back everyone. I hope you enjoyed the dive. Uh, this one is really, really interesting and, and quite unique. And now we're going to talk about the history of this wreck, which you will see it's even more unique. The Lotus was originally named Colonel Albert Todd, and it was built between 1919 and 1920 in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It was originally assigned to the North Pacific Coast Artillery District, departing Milwaukee in October 1920 to arrive at the Army Supply Base in Brooklyn, New York. By November in that same year, you could usually see the vessel uh, docked on Pier 6 in Hoboken, New Jersey. Its service continued in 1921 when it was first assigned to Fort Toten and then to Fort Wood, both in New York, until 1924, when it was decommissioned and transferred to the Lighthouse Service. It was at this point that it received the name Lotus for the first time. In 1939, the service was absorbed by the Coast Guard, and at this point the Lotus was relocated to Boston, Massachusetts. During World War II, the tender was uh, used to lay buoys and anti-sub nets in Newfoundland in Canada. By 1943, it was relocated to the 10th command of the Coast Guard in uh, Puerto Rico, and then later on to Norfolk, Virginia. After all this history of service, the Lotus was uh, passed to private hands in uh, Minnesota and several others until it was finally decommissioned and literally abandoned on the Miami River. It was in February 1971 that the Miami-Dade County uh, was cleaning the, the Miami River and took out the Lotus and sculled it around two miles out of shore. And this way we arrived to the end of another video. I truly hope you enjoyed it. Please, if you liked it, leave us a thumbs up if uh, you want to see any specific wreck in the upcoming future, please use the comments below. And of course, remember to subscribe. Once again, it's been an honor having you. Thank you very much and see you on the next one.